Welcome, folks. I'm Jabby Kawai, joined by Char Kirk. What's up? We're continuing on with Loki Episode 4, The Nexus Event. If you're watching this on YouTube, you're going to see a five-minute cut-down, well, between five and ten minutes-ish, uh, cut-down version of our reaction because we're only allowed a maximum of picture in picture for about five to ten minutes. I don't know exactly how long. It's a weird gray area. But uh, if you want to watch the entire reaction along with us without any interruptions, then you'll have to head over to patreon.com slash I don't know why I looked over there. It's not up. Uh, patreon.com slash and you can watch the entire reaction uninterrupted, uncut, but you will need your own Disney Plus subscription so you can open up the show in an adjacent window to our own because we can't show you the entire show picture in picture. That would be wrong. Uh, okay, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that bell icon, all notifications. And if you're watching this on Patreon already, thanks so much for supporting us here. Really appreciate it. All right, here we go. I feel sorry for the, for the viewers. There's our variant. What? She's she's like, just a kid. It's like Minority Report. Is this a flashback? Is this... Oh, maybe. Oh, yeah, you might be right. Is this how she gets there? <laughs> the one that got away. Oh, my gosh. Are we going to see timekeepers right now? Whoa. Oh! That's it! That's all we get! I wasn't expecting that. That's quite ominous. They want me to find Loki in the variant. I need access to Mother C20. I'm sorry, but that's impossible. She could have information. She's I dead. Yes. Did they kill her? I don't get it. She seemed okay. She seemed fine. At first, yes. But by the time she got in here, she could barely speak. The decline was steeper after that. I didn't know. What Nobody does. Hmm. Seems sus. Hmm. Yeah. I'm not buying it. There's the shot. Oh, yeah. Everywhere and every when I went caused a Nexus event because I'm not supposed to exist. Until eventually I figured out where to hide. And so that's where I grew up, the ends of a thousand worlds. That's where I'll die. Any news on C20? No. We need to find them. She got enchanted too, though. God damn. Yeah, it's pretty bad. One of those looks like a cataclysmic event. <laughs> yeah. So. Love! Oh, gosh. Oh, my God. It's like mega deep impact. You ever seen a branch like that? No. <gasps> What are they gonna do? Are they gonna combine? Oh. Well, I guess that settles that. Settles what? It wasn't happening in their head. Right. I mean, thus far. Or was it? By the way, I should have an equal amount of security. This is insulting. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? You'll see. <laughs> Mobius! Tell him. The TVA is lying to you. Yes. Put him in. <laughs> no, you gotta tell him facts. Oh God, is this like some sort of hell? You. Sif. You did this. What? Oh. All right. A bad memory prison? How quaint. remember exactly what I did after that. I went and had a nice hot bath and I never thought about it again because it was just a bit of fun. You, you conniving creep. Oh no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you are a reconstruction of a past event created by the organization that controls all of time. 
Do you need to trust me? You need to help me escape. Kapow. No. Good. She's gonna need him. <laughs> Shouldn't you be interrogating the Loki variant? Well, he marinates. I thought maybe I'd interview the other variant. Oh, no. She's just too dangerous. Too dangerous? Come on, Ramona. This is what I do. And this is what I do. Nobody speaks with that variant. Work your Loki and figure out what caused that spike. Did Loki say anything while you were in there? Yeah. So the TV is lying to me. Just tell him. Ah. <laughs> she knows that something's wrong. Conniving, craven, pathetic worm. Sir, please, please, no more. Please, I beg you, I cut off your hair because I thought it'd be funny. I crave attention. I'm a, I'm a narcissist. Is she gonna hit him again? Okay, Loki. You ready to talk? Something very, very big is gonna happen. And when it does, I'll dispose of her. Well, we saved you the trouble there. She's already been pruned. So assume I do set you free. Is that I gonna don't be? Wait, what did you just say? What? She's gone. Yeah. Not before she took out two of ours. Good riddance. Hmm. <laughs> you like her. Forming this kind of sick, twisted, romantic relationship. That's pure chaos. That could break reality. It's breaking my reality right now. <laughs> <laughs> Is she alive? For now. I'm and not lying this I'm time. Supposed to believe I'm not you're lying. A I'm telling you girlfriend. the truth. She's not my girlfriend. Whatever you want to call her. Sure. You're all variants. Everyone who works at the TBA. The timekeepers didn't create you, they kidnapped you from the timeline. Maybe you had a family. A life. Does he already know that? Nice try. Oh. You know, of all the liars in this place, you're the biggest. Why? Because I lied about your girlfriend? Oh no, that I can respect. I mean the lies you tell yourself. Harsh. Just tell him. Come with me. Would you? Well, she got the deal. <laughs> Why wouldn't you let me interrogate Sylvie? I told you, we couldn't risk her escaping again. She wouldn't have escaped. The other variant got away during your first interrogation, didn't he? I guess he doesn't know her past. Well, why would he? Right. Well, fair enough. When, when did you first notice what was going on with C20? C20? The variant? All these questions, what are you getting at? I don't know. I, I'm, something just seems a little off. Fine. You want the truth? Yes. I'm trying to protect you. You've been spending too much time with Lokis. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Friendship like ours is... Special. Uncommon. Oh, uncommon. Mm. What's he gonna do? Uh, oh. You sure you're okay? I'm just exhausted. Dealing with all these Lokis. Fair enough. Don't act suspicious now. She's suspicious. Timekeepers took your life from you. Your variants. We're the same. Show me. I looked happy. What now? I wasn't expecting that kind of scene. What were you expecting? Not just in general. I mean, in the show, I wasn't expecting that kind of scene. It was nice. Oh, it does say that she died. Yeah, but how? They murdered her. I had a whole life on the sacred timeline. Calm down, I'm a variant. So are you. So is every single person in this place. I'm ending up. In the time? You care about this variant? Sylvie, I'm not sure if care is the right Shut word. Up. I think we've covered this back Shut in. Shut up! Do you really think you deserve to be alone? Loki! You told me to shut up. Do you really believe? <laughs> Do you swear she didn't implant those memories in Hunter C20? Mobius, no. I believe her. 
So I just have to trust the word of two Lokis? How about the word of a friend? Really? You were right. About the TVA. Oh, Take Lord. off the collar. Come on. Who's there? No. Fight. Oh, Lord. What's the problem, Ravonna? Wherever it is I'm really from. And wherever I had a life before the TVA came along. I knew I had a jet ski. That's what I'd like to do. Just riding around on my jet ski. Burn him. No! no! Just like that? Oh. No. Oh. Why didn't he fight back? Oh, man. Oh. That bumps me out. She is such a job's worth, my god. Who was in here with her? Sorry, man, B-15 insisted. Huh. <laughs> Everything's falling apart. You okay? Oh, that's cute. I've got them from here. Please tell me they have a plan. As promised, the variants. After all your struggle, at last you've arrived before us. I think you're scared. Oh yeah. Oh shit. Uh oh. Oh no, 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 no. Focus. No. Pay attention! I thought that might be the case. I was like, why would they show the actual timekeepers? Think. It is like the Wizard of Oz. Then who created the TVA? I have to tell you something. We will figure this out. How do you know that? Because, uh... I love you. This is new for me. Um... What? <laughs> mm. <gasps> what? Please let there be like an after credit scene. <laughs> oh my god, you 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 can't just leave it like that for a week. Uh, maybe. No, there's gotta maybe be. Maybe they're like a, not really be, gone. No, yeah, exactly. There's gotta be like some kind of purgatory situation going on where they're in a holding. Or it's like you just get erased from one timeline. I don't know. This is too much. I'm just gonna sip my tea right now and wait. This is hell. Where are you? Not yet. Who? But you will be unless you come with us. Who are you? Oh, shit. Are they Loki variants? Is that the idea? I think so. But they had Richard E. Grant in there, too. Yes, they're not dead. Oh, my God. We can have all the Loki variants come out and play.
I knew they wouldn't kill him off. I'm so glad they didn't make us wait a week to find that information out. I would have uh, been so annoyed. I actually really, really like this episode a lot. This was fun. You know, because everything started to come apart, and like you could just <laughs> feel everything. You know, uh, you know, the seams just breaking. But my favorite part was right when they offed uh, Mobius. I mean, obviously they didn't really off Mobius, but w whatever happened in that scene, because they make him, they made him disappear with a stick. Yeah. You know, leading up to that, you know, because. Obviously, he's going through his own like breakdown of like questioning stuff and taking information, but denying it hard because he can't accept this new reality. Yes, you know, because he's been living this other lie for so long, but you know, conflicted this whole time and not understanding why. It's like the Matrix, right? And so to finally get the truth and realizing he's ready to fight for it, to fight against the monolith that is the TVA. You know, that desperate moment where he goes, I want to go back to my, the life I had. And right? then he gets taken out. I'm like, oh my God, this is so heartbreaking. It is. And when they killed him off for a split second, I'm like, God, uh, I'm like, did they really kill him off? Like, I was in denial. I'm like, there's no way they killed him off just like that. It was so quick, but then again, that would have been powerful if they left it like that. Like, that would have been sad, kind of like uh, Sirius Black. Like, just Gone. Yeah, just like goodbye. You know. Well, like could, we don't know, right? Because I wonder if, if that kind of purgatory or whatever is only one for Loki's. Like they've just figured out a loophole somehow, and and they've managed to kind of live in this, I guess, in between or nether world or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's going to be the same for Mobius, though. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's just like yep. game over for him or if we're going to get him back. I mean, obviously, I'd love to because he's so much fun to have around. But right. yeah, that was heartbreaking. In last week's episode, there were comments where people were going, I can't believe how much I love Sylvie and the relationship between Loki and Sylvie. Like people were just and people, shipping them. Yeah, people were shipping them hardcore. Know, yeah, people were really, really excited about that duo. And... I wasn't feeling that last week. I wasn't as like stoked as oh, any of you watching still, you know, witnessed. This time, I actually was more on board with their relationship for some reason. I'm not sure what was different from this week than last week, but like I was really enjoying it. Wow. Whatever they did this time around, I'm like, oh, like I feel their connection now between the two of them. And I, I like the acting, I like the way it was shot, the suspense, I like all the reveals. Like, this is a really, really, really powerful episode. I wasn't expecting to get this much out of it. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I, I, think, I think it's just that we had a little bit more time with Sylvie now as the world was ending. Mm -hmm. She shared more about herself. And so, like, she opened up and was even more vulnerable. And so you're, you're just like, oh, yeah, I feel for you. Like, how awful must it have been to be taken as a child and then have everything that you know and love taken away from you and then just basically had to raise yourself. Mm -hmm. It's pretty shitty. Right. That's like a really awful thing that they did to her. Yeah, I was I was glad that they had that moment where Sylvia asked, whoever the lady in charge is, I forgot I, her name. I forget her but name. But like she asked, what was the event that you know necessitated you taking me away from my life? She goes, I don't remember. I was glad they asked that question because I was like, did they say why? And I just missed it. Because I didn't really get that part, and, you know. It doesn't even matter though. That's the thing. Like a nexus event, from that, what, what I is, understand, the event, yeah. like the nexus event could just it could just be like a small deviation. Right. Like I don't know. You decided that you preferred to play with the blue boat today instead sure. of the red boat, and it causes a ripple effect or whatever, and so you have to be pruned. Mm -hmm. Well, whatever the case is, like yeah. I was glad they had that moment because I was confused. I was like, "You're right. It doesn't actually matter." But I thought that maybe they had explained it, and I was just too dumb to notice. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? We're watching this at midnight this time instead of in the early morning. And I like that moment where she's in the rain with B15 or whatever her name is. Yeah, B15. Uh, I thought that was a great moment. I was like, "Whoa!" Yeah. It's, it's like I don't have that much of a connection with that character. But I could feel everything she was saying because she was been got this heavy thought on her mind, this revelation she's been wrestling with, like something else is going on inside that completely goes against everything I understood. Again, another Matrix moment, right? Yeah. And then when she's in the rain with her, you can feel the revelation happening with this actress. I'm like, damn, she's good. Like the way she was experiencing experiencing that moment, I was experiencing it with her. She did a really, really good job with that scene. And I think it's heartbreaking because, you know, she's so heartbroken because in that moment, she's like, I was happy, though. Yeah. And that's the thing, like, the, the happy moments will always hit you harder and make you feel sadder because it's like, 
that you feel that longing that、right. she had because I guess you know maybe at the TVA life is so monotonous and、right. it's just like what yeah my purpose is serving the TVA or whatever but it's like holy shit I had a whole life、yeah. and they took it away from me like、right. why yeah it's especially profound because who's happy nobody oh my god. <laughs> 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 Just joking. Such a pessimist. <laughs> like you know, it's a fantasy when somebody's happy. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we're holding on to it, okay? <laughs> no, this is great though. And that little moment, like the moment you liked, I, I, I enjoyed it too. When、uh, Sylvie, you know, walked up and she goes, "Are you okay?" and he just kind of nods at her. That was a nice little. Yeah. You know, It was it was cute. It was kind of funny that whole thing about you know Loki falling in love with himself because he's such a narcissist. But I like I like the tenderness that they're sharing you know between the two of them that they both really care about each other and and it's just really sweet. Whether it is that they end up being some weird couple or if it's just like a brother sister type of love, like I, I don't. I don't、Who、really、knows? mind either well, way. Well, let's just see where it goes. Yeah. But I was totally anticipating that the timekeepers were fake, at least in this particular episode, because they just showed you them right at the first scene, and I'm like, something, so something's a miss. Early, yeah,、right? some, yeah, something's off here. I feel like this is this is a、uh, red herring, a distraction. It's just like it's spurious. Something's off. I'm like, something else will come. Like, surely is this isn't it? And when they actually showed them talking, I'm like. This is definitely fake. I feel like something else is, is going to happen. And then when she chopped off the head and it was a robot, I'm like, "See, I told you, I could have wrote this." <laughs> <laughs> like I, I was, I was just very confident that you know something else was coming. I just couldn't tell you what. Yeah, well, like like I said, it is kind of like that Wizard of Oz feeling, right? Because you you think you know what's going on. It's like, oh yeah, it's the Wizard of Oz, and he's the great wizard. And then you go behind and you see behind the curtain, and it's like, oh, it's. Still, just more lies, more smoke and mirrors. Especially with two episodes left to go, it's、yeah. like, well, of course. Yeah, like you know. where are we gonna go now? Where are they? That's the question. Where are they? What are it's they? It's about to get more fun. Is what's going on? Yeah. So,、uh, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Hopefully, you enjoyed that. I thoroughly enjoyed this episode. I think this was this might have been my favorite episode so far. I'm not sure. Got to watch the whole thing enough for sure. It's But, yeah. I'm, I'm enjoying.、Know. I'm enjoying the. Because I feel like I'm gonna want to go back、so、and watch、much. the whole thing again. Yeah, you know, it's just six episodes with, with more context because it really feels more like a long movie, more、yeah. than it. You know what I mean? Like the way it's structured, it it feels like a movie. So,、mm-hmm. anyways,、uh, I'm Jabby Koi. This is Achara Koi. Peace out.